Chapter 7 A Worthy Gentile Luke 7 verses 1 to 5, KJV, Now when he had ended all his sayings in the audience of the people, he entered into Capernaum. And a certain centurion servant, who was dear unto him, was sick and ready to die. And when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. And when they came to Jesus, they besought him instantly, saying, that he was worthy for whom he should do this, for he loveth our nation, and he hath built us a synagogue. A certain centurion servant, a centurion would have been a Gentile soldier for Rome over one hundred soldiers. And when he heard of him, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, this Gentile, who was sympathetic to Israel's God, has heard about the fame of Jesus, and he thinks that Jesus could be the person that could heal his servant. He was worthy, since the time of Abraham, the way for a Gentile to be blessed by God was for them to bless the seed of Abraham. Genesis 12 verses 1 to 3 KJV now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will shew thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing, and I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. This does not apply to today. Luke 7 verses 6 to 10, KJV, Then Jesus went with them. And when he was now not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying unto him, Lord, trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof, wherefore neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee, but say in a word, and my servant shall be healed. For I also am a man set under authority, having under me soldiers, and I say unto one, Go, and he goeth, and to another, Come, and he cometh, and to my servant, do this, and he doeth it. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him, and turned him about, and said unto the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And they that were sent, returning to the house, found the servant whole that had been sick. We first see a worthy centurion who had blessed Abraham's seed, and now he was worthy to be blessed by God. Genesis 12 verses 1 to 3 KJV Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will shew thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing, and I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel, the word faith is found in the Old Testament only two times. Deuteronomy 32 verse 20 KJV And he said, I will hide my face from them, I will see what their end shall be, for they are a very froward generation, children in whom is no faith. Habakkuk 2 verse 4 KJV Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. It is used of Israel in the Gospels in a negative way, ye of little faith. Matthew 8 verse 26 KJV And he saith unto them, Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. The opposite is true concerning the Gentiles, they were seen as having great faith. Matthew 15 verse 28 Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Behold, there was a dead man. Luke 7 verse 11, KJV, And it came to pass the day after, that he went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him, and much people. The day after, after Jesus heals a Gentile servant with just his word. A city called Nain, the city's name means a pleasant place, a pasture. Jesus and his disciples were entering into the city while the citizens were on their way out of it to a funeral. Luke 7 verses 12 to 14, KJV, Now when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and said unto her, Weep not. 
And he came and touched the bier, and they that bare him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. The only son of his mother, and she was a widow, this would mean she would have no one to take care of her in her old age, and no one to pass down the inheritance to. The family lineage would also stop with his death, and nothing is said of the son having any children. Mary was a widow after Joseph's death, and she only had one son who died and rose again. Her other children did not believe on Jesus as their savior until after Jesus' resurrection. So, at the cross Jesus tells the apostle John and Mary that they were the only real family that they had at that time. When the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her. No request is made by the widow bereaved of her only son. No exhibition of her faith in Jesus to raise her son to life is found. Only the compassion of the Lord is displayed here. Weep not, in Jeremiah 31 verse 16 there is a prophecy picturing a weeping nation who will have her joy restored in the kingdom when the resurrection occurs. Jesus is the resurrection, and he will restore everything that death had taken away from Israel. John 11 verse 25 KJV Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection, and the life, he that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. He came and touched the bier, the movable frame used to carry a corpse to a grave site. Luke 7 verse 15, KJV, And he that was dead sat up and began to speak. And he delivered him to his mother. Young man, I say unto thee, Arise, what other young man was risen from the dead? Jesus was only 33 years old when he was raised from the dead, and his mother was a widow as well. Luke 7 verses 16 to 17, KJV, And there came a fear on all, and they glorified God, saying, That a great prophet is risen up among us, and that God hath visited his people. And this rumor of him went forth throughout all Judea, and throughout all the region round about. God hath visited his people, Elijah also raises a widow's son, but this time it is during a famine that lasts three and a half years. 1 Kings 17 and Luke 1 verse 68 and 78. Coincidentally, that is the same amount of time that Israel will go through the second half of the seven-year tribulation period, known as the Great Tribulation. Revelation 12 verse 6 KJV. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and threescore days. Israel's resurrection is when Jesus takes away their tears and grief in the kingdom. The woman was a type of the nation of Israel going through the time of Jacob's trouble, which is a time of great weeping. John begins to doubt. Luke 7 verses 18 to 23, KJV, And the disciples of John shoot him of all these things. And John calling unto him two of his disciples sent them to Jesus, saying, Art thou he that should come? Or look we for another? When the men were come unto him, they said, John Baptist hath sent us unto thee, saying, Art thou he that should come? Or look we for another? And in that same hour he cured many of their infirmities and plagues, and of evil spirits, and unto many that were blind he gave sight. Then Jesus answering said unto them, Go your way, and tell John what things ye have seen and heard, how that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, to the poor the gospel is preached. And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. Tell John what things ye have seen and heard, they saw the miracles he did and heard the gospel of the kingdom preached unto the poor. The lame walk, the infirmities mentioned in V21. The lepers are cleansed, the plagues mentioned in V21. The dead are raised, the widow's only son back in V7-15. The lame walk, T chapter 7. A worthy Gentile? Luke 7 verses 1 to 5, KJV, Now when he had ended all his sayings in the audience of the people, he entered into Capernaum. And a certain centurion's servant, who was dear unto him, was sick and ready to die. And when he heard of Jesus, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, beseeching him that he would come and heal his servant. And when they came to Jesus, they besought him instantly, saying, that he was worthy for whom he should do this, for he loveth our nation, and he hath built us a synagogue. 
a certain centurion servant. A centurion would have been a Gentile soldier for Rome over 100 soldiers. And when he heard of him, he sent unto him the elders of the Jews, this Gentile, who was sympathetic to Israel's God, has heard about the fame of Jesus, and he thinks that Jesus could be the person that could heal his servant. He was worthy, since the time of Abraham, the way for a Gentile to be blessed by God was for them to bless the seed of Abraham. Genesis 12 verses 1 to 3 KJV now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will shew thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing, and I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. This does not apply to today. Luke 7 verses 6 to 10, KJV, Then Jesus went with them. And when he was now not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying unto him, Lord, trouble not thyself, for I am not worthy that thou shouldest enter under my roof, wherefore neither thought I myself worthy to come unto thee, but say in a word, and my servant shall be healed. For I also am a man set under authority, having under me soldiers, and I say unto one, Go, and he goeth, and to another, Come, and he cometh, and to my servant, Do this, and he doeth it. When Jesus heard these things, he marveled at him, and turned him about, and said unto the people that followed him, I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. And they that were sent, returning to the house, found the servant whole that had been sick. We first see a worthy centurion who had blessed Abraham's seed, and now he was worthy to be blessed by God. Genesis 12 verses 1 to 3 KJV now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will shew thee, and I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing, and I will bless them that bless thee, and curse him that curseth thee, and in thee shall all families of the earth be blessed. I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. The word faith is found in the Old Testament only two times. Deuteronomy 32 verse 20 KJV And he said, I will hide my face from them, I will see what their end shall be, for they are a very froward generation, children in whom is no faith. Habakkuk 2 verse 4 KJV Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. It is used of Israel in the Gospels in a negative way, ye of little faith. Matthew 8 verse 26 KJV And he saith unto them, Why are ye fearful, O ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. The opposite is true concerning the Gentiles, they were seen as having great faith. Matthew 15 verse 28 Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. Behold, there was a dead man. Luke 7 verse 11, KJV And it came to pass the day after, that he went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him, and much people. The day after, after Jesus heals a Gentile servant with just his word. A city called Nain, the city's name means a pleasant place, a pasture. Jesus and his disciples were entering into the city while the citizens were on their way out of it to a funeral. Luke 7 verses 12 to 14, KJV, Now when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her, and said unto her, Weep not. And he came and touched the bier, and they that bare him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. The only son of his mother, and she was a widow, this would mean she would have no one to take care of her in her old age, and no one to pass down the inheritance to. The family lineage would also stop with his death, and nothing is said of the son having any children. Mary was a widow after Joseph's death, and she only had one son who died and rose again. Her other children did not believe on Jesus as their savior until after Jesus' resurrection. So, 
At the cross, Jesus tells the apostle John and Mary that they were the only real family that they had at that time. When the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her. No request is made by the widow bereaved of her only son. No exhibition of her faith in Jesus to raise her son to life is found. Only the compassion of the Lord is displayed here. Weep not, in Jeremiah 31 verse 16 there is a prophecy picturing a weeping nation who will have her joy restored in the kingdom when the resurrection occurs. Jesus is the resurrection, and he will restore everything that death had taken away from Israel. John 11 verse 25 KJV Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection, and the life, he that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. He came and touched the bier, the movable frame used to carry a corpse to a grave site. Luke 7 verse 15, KJV, And he that was dead sat up and began to speak. And he delivered him to his mother. Young man, I say unto thee, Arise, what other young man was risen from the dead? Jesus was only 33 years old when he was raised from the dead, and his mother was a widow as well. Luke 7 verses 16 to 17, KJV, And there came a fear on all, and they glorified God, saying, That a great prophet is risen up among us, and that God hath visited his people. And this rumor of him went forth throughout all Judea, and throughout all the region round about. God hath visited his people, Elijah also raises a widow's son, but this time it is during a famine that lasts three and a half years. 1 Kings 17 and Luke 1 verse 68 and 78. Coincidentally, that is the same amount of time that Israel will go through the second half of the seven-year tribulation period, known as the Great Tribulation. Revelation 12 verse 6 KJV. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and threescore days. Israel's resurrection is when Jesus takes away their tears and grief in the kingdom. The woman was a type of the nation of Israel going through the time of Jacob's trouble, which is a time of great weeping. John begins to doubt. Luke 7 verses 18 to 23, KJV, And the disciples of John shoot him of all these things. And John calling unto him two of his disciples sent them to Jesus, saying, Art thou he that should come? Or look we for another? When the men were come unto him, they said, John Baptist hath sent us unto thee, saying, Art thou he that should come? Or look we for another? And in that same hour he cured many of their infirmities and plagues, and of evil spirits, and unto many that were blind he gave sight. Then Jesus answering said unto them, Go your way, and tell John what things ye have seen and heard, how that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, to the poor the gospel is preached. And blessed is he, whosoever shall not be offended in me. Tell John what things ye have seen and heard, they saw the miracles he did and heard the gospel of the kingdom preached unto the poor. The lame walk, the infirmities mentioned in V21. The lepers are cleansed, the plagues mentioned in V21. The dead are raised, the widow's only son back in V7-15. The lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, these miracles are recorded in Luke 6. The blind see, v. 21. Jesus fulfilled Isaiah 61 verses 1 to 2 in front of John's disciples to serve as a reminder to John that the one he saw the Spirit descending upon at his baptism was indeed the Christ. But what went ye out for to see? Luke 7 verses 24 to 27, KJV, And when the messengers of John were departed, he began to speak unto the people concerning John, What went ye out into the wilderness for to see? A reed shaken with the wind? But what went ye out for to see? A man clothed in soft raiment? Behold, they which are gorgeously apparelled, and live delicately, are in king's courts. But what went ye out for to see? A prophet? Yeah, I say unto you, and much more than a prophet. This is he, of whom it is written, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. Isaiah 40 verse 3 KJV The voice of him that creeth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. 
Luke 7 verse 28, KJV, For I say unto you, Among those that are born of women there is not a greater prophet than John the Baptist, but he that is least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. He was not a part of the group that would be baptized with the Holy Spirit on the day of Pentecost and beyond, which would make up the little flock mentioned in Luke 12 verse 32. John was not to be compared with the kingdom saints because he would not taste the good word of God and the powers of the world to come, the kingdom. Hebrews 6 verse 5 KJV And have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come. Luke 7 verses 29 to 30 KJV And all the people that heard him and the publicans justified God being baptized with the baptism of John. But the Pharisees and lawyers rejected the counsel of God against themselves, being not baptized of him. Justified God, those who had heard John the Baptist and believed his word justified God being baptized of him. This means that they accepted the counsel of God. Rejected the counsel of God, the Pharisees and lawyers were those who rejected the counsel of God that John preached to them when they would not be baptized by him. They did not receive the remission of their sins because they rejected the counsel of God. Luke 7 verses 31 to 35, KJV, And the Lord said, Whereunto then shall I liken the men of this generation? And to what are they like? They are like unto children sitting in the marketplace, and calling one to another, and saying, We have piped unto you, and ye have not danced, we have mourned to you, and ye have not wept. For John the Baptist came neither eating bread nor drinking wine, and ye say, He hath a devil. The Son of Man is come eating and drinking, and ye say, Behold a gluttonous man, and a wine-bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners. But wisdom is justified of all her children. Thy sins are forgiven. Luke 7 verse 36, KJV, And one of the Pharisees desired him that he would eat with him. And he went into the Pharisee's house and sat down to meet. One of the Pharisees, this was in northern Israel in the Galilee region. Matthew, Mark, and John record this story. Luke 7 verse 37, KJV, And behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner, when she knew that Jesus sat at meat in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of ointment. A woman in the city, which was a sinner, this was Mary Magdalene. Luke 7 verses 38 to 50, KJV, And stood at his feet behind him weeping, and began to wash his feet with tears, and did wipe them with the hairs of her head, and kissed his feet, and anointed them with the ointment. Now when the Pharisee which had bidden him saw it, he spake within himself, saying, This man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner of woman this is that toucheth him, for she is a sinner. And Jesus answering said unto him, Simon, I have somewhat to say unto thee. And he saith, Master, say on. There was a certain creditor which had two debtors, the one owed five hundred pence, and the other fifty. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me therefore, which of them will love him most? Simon answered and said, I suppose that he, to whom he forgave most. And he said unto him, Thou hast rightly judged. And he turned to the woman, and said unto Simon, Sayest thou this woman? I entered into thine house, thou gavest me no water for my feet, but she hath washed my feet with tears, and wiped them with the hairs of her head. Thou gavest me no kiss, but this woman since the time I came in hath not ceased to kiss my feet. My head with oil thou didst not anoint, but this woman hath anointed my feet with ointment. Wherefore I say unto thee, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much, but to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. And he said unto her, Thy sins are forgiven. And they that sat at meat with him began to say within themselves, Who is this that forgiveth sins also? And he said to the woman, Thy faith hath saved thee, go in peace. Thy sins are forgiven, God alone could forgive sins. Exodus 32 verse 32 Thy faith hath saved thee, Matthew 9 verses 2 and 22 and 15 28. Chapter 8 The Glad Tidings of the Kingdom 
Luke 8 verse 1, KJV, And it came to pass afterward, that he went throughout every city and village, preaching and shewing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God, and the twelve were with him. The glad tidings, the word gospel means glad tidings, and this good news of the kingdom was that it was at hand. Matthew 4 verse 17 From that time Jesus began to preach, and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matthew 4 verse 23 And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. The twelve were with him, the twelve apostles. Luke 8 verses 2-3 to KJV, and certain women, which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils, and Joanna the wife of Chusa Herod's steward, and Susanna, and many others, which ministered unto him of their substance. Mary called Magdalene, she was from Migdal. Joanna, Luke 24 verse 10, which ministered unto him of their substance, they sold all their substance to use to support the work of the kingdom, as was commanded by Christ to receive eternal life in the kingdom. Luke 14 verse 33. Matthew 19 verse 21 Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. The Parable of the Sower. Luke 8 verses 4 to 5. KJV, and when much people were gathered together, and were come to him out of every city, he spake by a parable, a sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. His seed is the word of the kingdom. Matthew 13 verse 19. The wayside, the word of the kingdom didn't find good ground in their hearts. Matthew 13 verse 19. The fowls of the air devoured it. Devils are often portrayed as fowls in scripture. Verse 12 below. Luke 8 verse 6, KJV, And some fell upon a rock, and as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away, because it lacked moisture. A rock, they like what they hear initially, but do not endure unto the end. Matthew 13 verses 20 to 21 KJV. But he that received the seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it, yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution are he because of the word, by and by he is offended. Luke 8 verse 7, KJV, And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it, and choked it. Thorns, the word of the kingdom is choked out by the cares of this world. Matthew 13 verse 22 KJV He also that received seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word, and the care of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, choke the word, and he becometh unfruitful. Luke 8 verses 8 to 10 KJV And other fell on good ground, and sprang up, and bare fruit an hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. And his disciples asked him, saying, What might this parable be? And he said, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to others in parables, that seeing they might not see, and hearing they might not understand. The mysteries of the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is also called the kingdom of heaven in Matthew 13. These were kingdom truths, which have nothing to do with us in the dispensation of grace today. Luke 8 verses 11 to 12, KJV, Now the parable is this, The seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are they that hear, then cometh the devil, and taketh away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. They by the wayside, those that get easily distracted by the cares of the world and forget the word of the kingdom. Luke 8 verse 13, KJV, they on the rock are they, which, when they hear, receive the word with joy, and these have no root, which for a while believe, and in time of temptation fall away. They on the rock, others would not endure unto the end, and would fall away as it says, but that is not written to us today in the dispensation of grace. Matthew 13 verses 20 to 21 KJV. But he that received the seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it, yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while. 
for when tribulation or persecution are he saith because of the word, by and by he is offended. Luke 8 verse 14, KJV, And that which fell among thorns are they, which, when they have heard, go forth, and are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life, and bring no fruit to perfection. That which fell among thorns, these are those that heard the word, but they did not keep it. Matthew 13 verse 22 KJV He also that received seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word, and the care of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, choke the word, and he becometh unfruitful. Luke 8 verse 15 KJV But that on the good ground are they, which in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it, and bring forth fruit with patience. The good ground, this is the person who believed the gospel of the kingdom and who produced fruit by keeping the word and telling others that Jesus was the Christ. These parables are written for Israel prior to the dispensation of grace, while they were under the law. Take heed therefore how ye hear. Luke 8 verses 16 to 18, KJV, No man, when he hath lighted a candle, covereth it with a vessel, or putteth it under a bed, but setteth it on a candlestick, that they which enter in may see the light. For nothing is secret, that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid, that shall not be known and come abroad. Take heed therefore how ye hear, for whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken even that which he seemeth to have. Whosoever hath, to him shall be given, the ones who hear the word of the sower, Jesus Christ, and who kept it would be given more. Whosoever hath not, shall be taken even that which he seemeth to have, if they heard then soon forgot it, disobeyed it, or ignored it, then what they had received would be taken away from them. Jesus' Family Luke 8 verses 19 to 21, KJV, Then came to him his mother and his brethren, and could not come at him for the press. And it was told him by certain which said, Thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to see thee. And he answered and said unto them, My mother and my brethren are these which hear the word of God and do it. His mother and his brethren, they had heard the good news of the kingdom from Jesus himself, but they were not following him, nor doing it. Later on, however, after his resurrection they did rise from their fall to follow him. Luke 2 verse 34 And Simeon blessed them, and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel. Acts 1 verse 14 KJV These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication, with the women, and Mary the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. Where is your faith? Luke 8 verses 22 to 25, KJV, Now it came to pass on a certain day, that he went into a ship with his disciples, and he said unto them, Let us go over unto the other side of the lake. And they launched forth. But as they sailed, he fell asleep, and there came down a storm of wind on the lake, and they were filled with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him, and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water, and they ceased, and there was a calm. And he said unto them, Where is your faith? And they being afraid wondered, saying one to another, What manner of man is this? For he common death even the winds and water, and they obey him. Where is your faith? They should not have doubted after all they had seen. This display would still not be enough to produce unshakable faith in the near future as they would all forsake him. Mark 14 verse 50 KJV And they all forsook him and fled. Luke 8 verse 26 KJV And they arrived at the country of the Gadarenes, which is over against Galilee. The country of the Gadarenes, the city of Gadara, where the man with the legion of devils was from. Luke 8 verses 27 to 31 KJV and WH chapter 8. The Glad Tidings of the Kingdom. Luke 8 verse 1, KJV, And it came to pass afterward, that he went throughout every city and village, preaching and shewing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God, and the twelve were with him. The glad tidings, the word gospel means glad tidings, and this good news of the kingdom was that it was at hand.
Matthew 4 verse 17 from that time Jesus began to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Matthew 4 verse 23 and Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. The twelve were with him, the twelve apostles. Luke 8 verses 2 to 3, KJV, and certain women, which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils, and Joanna the wife of Chusa Herod's steward, and Susanna, and many others, which ministered unto him of their substance. Mary called Magdalene, she was from Migdal, Joanna, Luke 24 verse 10, which ministered unto him of their substance, they sold all their substance to use to support the work of the kingdom, as was commanded by Christ to receive eternal life in the kingdom. Luke 14 verse 33. Matthew 19 verse 21 Jesus said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect, go and sell that thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come and follow me. The Parable of the Sower Luke 8 verses 4 to 5, KJV, And when much people were gathered together, and were come to him out of every city, he spake by a parable, a sower went out to sow his seed, and as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air devoured it. His seed is the word of the kingdom. Matthew 13 verse 19. The wayside, the word of the kingdom didn't find good ground in their hearts. Matthew 13 verse 19. The fowls of the air devoured it. Devils are often portrayed as fowls in scripture. Verse 12 below. Luke 8 verse 6, KJV, and some fell upon a rock, and as soon as it was sprung up, it withered away, because it lacked moisture. A rock, they like what they hear initially, but do not endure unto the end. Matthew 13 verses 20 to 21 KJV. But he that received the seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it, yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution are he saith because of the word, by and by he is offended. Luke 8 verse 7, KJV, And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. Thorns, the word of the kingdom is choked out by the cares of this world. Matthew 13 verse 22 KJV He also that received seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word, and the care of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, choke the word, and he becometh unfruitful. Luke 8 verses 8 to 10 KJV And other fell on good ground, and sprang up, and bare fruit an hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. And his disciples asked him, saying, What might this parable be? And he said, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God, but to others in parables, that seeing they might not see, and hearing they might not understand. The mysteries of the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is also called the kingdom of heaven in Matthew 13. These were kingdom truths, which have nothing to do with us in the dispensation of grace today. Luke 8 verses 11 to 12, KJV, Now the parable is this, The seed is the word of God. Those by the wayside are they that hear, then cometh the devil, and taketh away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. They by the wayside, those that get easily distracted by the cares of the world and forget the word of the kingdom. Luke 8 verse 13, KJV, they on the rock are they, which, when they hear, receive the word with joy, and these have no root, which for a while believe, and in time of temptation fall away. They on the rock, others would not endure unto the end, and would fall away as it says, but that is not written to us today in the dispensation of grace. Matthew 13 verses 20 to 21 KJV but he that received the seed into stony places, the same as he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it, yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution are he saith because of the word, by and by he is offended. Luke 8 verse 14, KJV, And that which fell among thorns are they, which, when they have heard, go forth, and are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life, and bring no fruit to perfection. 
that which fell among thorns, these are those that heard the word, but they did not keep it. Matthew 13 verse 22 KJV He also that received seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word, and the care of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches, choke the word, and he becometh unfruitful. Luke 8 verse 15 KJV But that on the good ground are they, which in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it, and bring forth fruit with patience. The good ground, this is the person who believed the gospel of the kingdom and who produced fruit by keeping the word and telling others that Jesus was the Christ. These parables are written for Israel prior to the dispensation of grace, while they were under the law. Take heed therefore how ye hear. Luke 8 verses 16 to 18, KJV, No man, when he hath lighted a candle, covereth it with a vessel, or putteth it under a bed, but setteth it on a candlestick, that they which enter in may see the light. For nothing is secret, that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid, that shall not be known and come abroad. Take heed therefore how ye hear, for whosoever hath, to him shall be given, and whosoever hath not, from him shall be taken even that which he seemeth to have. Whosoever hath, to him shall be given, the ones who hear the word of the sower, Jesus Christ, and who kept it would be given more. Whosoever hath not, shall be taken even that which he seemeth to have, if they heard then soon forgot it, disobeyed it, or ignored it, then what they had received would be taken away from them. Jesus' Family Luke 8 verses 19 to 21, KJV, Then came to him his mother and his brethren, and could not come at him for the press. And it was told him by certain which said, Thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to see thee. And he answered and said unto them, My mother and my brethren are these which hear the word of God and do it. His mother and his brethren, they had heard the good news of the kingdom from Jesus himself, but they were not following him, nor doing it. Later on, however, after his resurrection they did rise from their fall to follow him. Luke 2 verse 34 And Simeon blessed them, and said unto Mary his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising again of many in Israel. Acts 1 verse 14 KJV These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication, with the women, and Mary the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. Where is your faith? Luke 8 verses 22 to 25, KJV, Now it came to pass on a certain day, that he went into a ship with his disciples, and he said unto them, Let us go over unto the other side of the lake. And they launched forth. But as they sailed, he fell asleep, and there came down a storm of wind on the lake, and they were filled with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him, and awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we perish. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and the raging of the water, and they ceased, and there was a calm. And he said unto them, Where is your faith? And they being afraid wondered, saying one to another, What manner of man is this? For he common death even the winds and water, and they obey him. Where is your faith? They should not have doubted after all they had seen. This display would still not be enough to produce unshakable faith in the near future as they would all forsake him. Mark 14 verse 50 KJV And they all forsook him and fled. Luke 8 verse 26 KJV And they arrived at the country of the Gadarenes, which is over against Galilee. The country of the Gadarenes, the city of Gadara, where the man with the legion of devils was from. Luke 8 verses 27 to 31, KJV, And when he went forth to land, there met him out of the city a certain man, which had devils long time, and were no clothes, neither abode in any house, but in the tombs. When he saw Jesus, he cried out, and fell down before him, and with a loud voice said, What have I to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God Most High? I beseech thee, torment me not. For he had commanded the unclean spirit to come out of the man. For oftentimes it had caught him, and he was kept bound with chains and in fetters, and he brake the bands and was driven of the devil into the wilderness. And Jesus asked him, saying, What is thy name? And he said, Legion, because many devils were entered into him. 
And they besought him that he would not command them to go out into the deep. The deep, the Greek word is abusos, where we get the word abyss from. It is translated twice as the phrase the deep and seven times as the bottomless pit. Romans 10 verse 7 or, who shall descend into the deep? That is, to bring up Christ again from the dead. Was Christ in the deep water after his death, or was he in the heart of the earth? The heart of the earth. The deep is not a reference to the water that was in front of them. They did not want to be cast into the bottomless pit or into the heart of the earth, which is hell. Mark 5 verse 10, and he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. This legion of devils wanted to stay in the country and not to be cast into the deep, the abusos, or abyss. Luke 8 verse 32, KJV, and there was there an herd of many swine feeding on the mountain, and they besought him that he would suffer them to enter into them. And he suffered them. They besought him that he would suffer them to enter into them. The devils wanted a body to possess, and there was swine feeding in the distance. One man's body could house a legion, thousands of devils, but when Jesus cast the legion of devils out, there was just enough swine there for the devils. Mark 5 verse 13. Luke 8 verse 33, KJV, then went the devils out of the man and entered into the swine, and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the lake and were choked. The lake, lake is translated as the lake here, not the deep. Luke 8 verses 34 to 39, KJV, when they that fed them saw what was done, they fled, and went and told it in the city and in the country. Then they went out to see what was done, and came to Jesus, and found the man, out of whom the devils were departed, sitting at the feet of Jesus, clothed, and in his right mind, and they were afraid. They also which saw it told them by what means he that was possessed of the devils was healed. Then the whole multitude of the country of the Gadarenes round about besought him to depart from them, for they were taken with great fear, and he went up into the ship and returned back again. Now the man out of whom the devils were departed besought him that he might be with him, but Jesus sent him away, saying, Return to thine own house, and shew how great things God hath done unto thee. And he went his way and published throughout the whole city how great things Jesus had done unto him. Return to thy own house. Jesus did not tell this Gentile to go to the priests and offer an offering for his cleansing as he did with Jews being healed, because this man was not a Jew. This was also different from every other person he ever helped because he commanded everyone he spoke with to come and follow him. He also would identify them as Jews, like in Luke 13 verse 16 and 19 colon 9. This man was a Gentile, and it was not time for the Gentiles to follow him. Jesus told him to tell his friends how good God had been to him, and when he did, he told people how good Jesus had been to him. Jesus is God. 12 years. Luke 8 verses 40 to 48, KJV, and it came to pass that when Jesus was returned, the people gladly received him, for they were all waiting for him. And behold, there came a man named Jairus, and he was a ruler of the synagogue, and he fell down at Jesus' feet, and besought him that he would come into his house, for he had one only daughter, about twelve years of age, and she lay dying. But as he went the people thronged him. And a woman having an issue of blood twelve years, which had spent all her living upon physicians, neither could be healed of any, came behind him, and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her issue of blood stanched. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied, Peter and they that were with him said, Master, the multitude throng thee and press thee, and sayest thou, Who touched me? And Jesus said, Somebody hath touched me, for I perceive that virtue has gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling, and falling down before him, she declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him, and how she was healed immediately. And he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort, thy faith hath made thee whole, go in peace. A woman having an issue of blood twelve years, this issue of blood would make her unclean, and all those who came in contact with her. Leviticus 12 verses 1 to 8, 15 25, Matthew 9 verse 20 and Mark 4 verse 25. Jesus also touched the unclean to make them whole. 
Luke 5 verse 12. 12 is the number of Israel. Luke 8 verses 49 to 56, KJV, While he yet spake, there cometh one from the ruler of the synagogue's house, saying to him, Thy daughter is dead, trouble not the master. But when Jesus heard it, he answered him, saying, Fear not, believe only, and she shall be made whole. And when he came into the house, he suffered no man to go in, save Peter, and James, and John, and the father and the mother of the maiden. And all wept, and bewailed her, but he said, Weep not, she is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn, knowing that she was dead. And he put them all out, and took her by the hand, and called, saying, Maid, arise. And her spirit came again, and she arose straightway, and he commanded to give her meat. And her parents were astonished, but he charged them that they should tell no man what was done. About twelve years of age, the fact that she was about twelve years of age, and the woman's issue of blood began about twelve years ago was no coincidence. Twelve is the number of Israel, and these two stories are intentionally overlapping one another, so that you will ask, why do both of these two stories have women associated with the number twelve in them? Jesus was trying to teach Israel that without him, they, Israel, were dead spiritually, and there was nothing they could do to cure themselves or others. Jesus healed all those in Israel with infirmities so that they could become priests in the kingdom that was at hand. He also resurrected from the dead everyone that he came across as a sign that he could raise all the righteous at the onset of the kingdom. John 11 verses 24 to 25 KJV Martha saith unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. He had to wait until after his 30th birthday before performing any miracles so he could show them that he was their high priest. Numbers 4 colon 3 KJV From 30 years old and upward even until 50 years old, all that enter into the host, to do the work in the tabernacle of the congregation. Jesus didn't leave this 12-year-old maid in paradise where she had gone at the moment of her death, because Jesus is the resurrection and the life, and Jews will live forever in his presence in the kingdom. John 11 verse 24 KJV Martha saith unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. She and the woman with the issue of blood for 12 years were assigned to the 12 tribes of Israel that God was doing this for his people.